these businessmen, they are coming to our doors, to our country. So it's making our task easy for us. Three years, prior to this, prior to 50 years. He says, you know, we have to go to their countries, in the East, in the Orient. We have to go to Indonesia, to Malaysia, to India, to Pakistan, Bangladesh. These names didn't exist, but those territories, you know what we are talking about. Thousands of miles away from home. Away from the home base. Now we can work from the home base. We can sleep with our wife and children. And in the morning we can get out and we find the customers around us. There, yeah, they're there. They can turn on and they can work till late in the evening. And back home in the evening they can sleep with their wife and children. Prior, prior to this, 1,000, 5,000 miles away, 10,000 miles away, away from the home base. Now they can go and work from the home base. You make that easy for him. Number two. He said, culturally, these people, they're backward people. You know, when we went to Malaysia, Indonesia, India, Bangladesh, when we went into the village, the guy welcomes us, but he'll sit on the floor on the grass mat. The flies are buzzing all around. And the smoke is coming from the kitchen, the stove, you know, the open stove. And we're smarting our eyes. The eye is watering, the nose is watering. And we have to talk to the fellow. No more, no more. Culturally, this guy is prepared to receive us with your sofa and kursi. Huh? And the dining room table and the chair. You can give them tea and cakes. Or sitting. No more on the ground. Culturally, you are now prepared to receive the message. Number two. Number three, he said, previously, we had to learn the language of the native. Wherever we went, we went to Bangladesh. We must learn Bengali to talk to the Bengali. When we went to Indonesia, we had to learn Indonesian to talk to the Indonesian. When we went to so northwest, we had to learn Pushtu to talk to the Pathan. When we went to the other part, we had to learn Urdu. Wherever we went, we had to learn the language of the natives. No more. These guys, they are now learning our language. Are you? You can't do without that. You have to learn his language. So we are already prepared to receive the message. He doesn't have to learn your language. You have already learned his. Linguistically, you are not prepared to receive the message. No. Number four. He said, previously, if we converted an individual in any villages, in any of these countries, okay, he becomes a sore of thumb in the community. Everybody sees his name and says, that how is that going there? Accosted, murda, tapir. You know, you feel like strangling him, no? Your own brother, your cousin, your nephew, your relation, he'll become a murda, a tapir. How do you feel? And the whole, whole community, the whole community, the village, the town, everybody is activated against him. You don't like him, you don't want to see him, you want to kill him, murder him. You feel, you feel it, your child is lost, but we go to hell now. He's become an apostate, he's not cursing, abusing, and swearing over the me. How do you feel? But now, no more. We have 60 million, and in the 60 million, we can easily absorb these guys now. You, 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 you. Number five. So previously the government, or even now the government, they can do nothing about it, but they're not happy. Because they are creating a potential big problem in our midst. In Pakistan, in the Punjab, there are certain places in the Punjab where they have, the, the Christians are in the majority. They have converted more Pakistanis into Christianity since independence than in the previous hundred years of British rule. They have converted more Bangladeshis into Christianity since independence than in the previous hundred years of British rule. Fifteen million Indonesians have been converted already into Christianity. And by the turn of the century, they want to make Indonesia a Christian nation. And there's every chance that it's going to happen. The way things are moving. Everything is in the favor of the Christians. It's a loaded thing against the Muslims. We were boasting at one time, we are the biggest country, Muslim country in the world, the biggest Islamic Muslim population in the world, Indonesia. I said, not what happens today, not what happens. Your 100 million, 140 million is rubbish. Ready like grass, cut and ready to be burned. 140 million, not what happens. This is what has happened. So, but the government still like in Pakistan is not happy. Though, yeah, yeah. Zia, Zia, General Zia, he can do nothing. I don't know who's ruling in Bangladesh, but go for it, can do nothing. It's a missionary. But in his heart of heart, they are not happy. But here, 
Chain the people. Convert them. And the government is happy. Absorb them. All this, let them come. When they come, absorb them. We can make them look good. Why? We have bigger market for our wine industry. We have more big eaters from now on. We have more families, more promiscuous people. You know? We want to make them all our own. It can happen. We really need it. Things do happen. When you tie a horse to a donkey, we are gold. When you tie a horse to the donkey, the horse can't bray like a donkey. But we have a saying that it lifts up his head. It tries to imitate the donkey. That horse is weak. You know, try to imitate like a wife. Try to behave like him. You know, standards or norms. All this is the way we want to make them wine cheaper. So, five points against us. Because of you, yeah. You don't have to learn your language, culturally, from every point of view. Ah, you are ready for harvesting. So, what are we to do? You can't isolate yourself, you can't insulate yourself. You say, no, 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 we want to you know, keep out, nobody can approach us. No, no. You can't have it in the university, it's in your body, it's in your home. The guy comes and knocks at your door. You can't say, put side, get away, rubbish, I don't want to talk to you. No, you say, I, I can defend myself. And our sisters also say, no, oh, we know Islam is in the right and we can defend ourselves. Against what? You see, previously, they had certain systems of attacking Islam and the Holy Prophet. That Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told me why. He spreads the religion at the point of the sword. It means he forced Islam down people's throats. If you don't accept Islam, chop up your head. They said the Quran was copied by our Nabi from the Jews and the Christians. This was the type of thing that they did. And it didn't gather much money. No controversy. They have changed their tactics, different, different tactics. Today now, they have learned new methods. Now they come to you. This is what's happening in my country, I'm sure. They're trying the same things with you here because they plan, master plans. How to do the job, tawa. Now they come to us. This is, you know, Jesus Christ was one of the mightiest messengers of God. How do you respond? What do you say? He said, yes, we did. He was one of the mightiest messengers. He says, you know, Jesus was the Masih, the Messiah. Masihullah, translated Christ. Christ is a translation of the Hebrew word Messiah. Arabic, Masih. So Jesus is the Masihullah, is Allah's Messiah, Masih. What do you say? What do you say? You agree? Of course. You can't say, Allah says so. Masih, Masih, Jesus, the son of Mary. You can't say no. So he said, you know, Jesus is Masihullah. He said, yes. Is Muhammad Masihullah? Is he? He said, no, he's Rasulullah. He said, look, Jesus is also Rasulullah. He's Masihullah and Rasulullah. Your prophet is only Rasulullah. So in your mind, you feel now he's inferior to Jesus. Now this is the night he's only talking to you. He's not telling you Jesus is Masihullah and your prophet is Rasulullah. Right? Right. So, Jesus is Rasul and Masih. Your prophet is only Rasul. That's something there. This is, you know, Jesus Christ was born miraculously, without any major intervention. The ayah I quoted to you just now, the beginning. He said, no, 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 we believe that. That he was born without any human intervention. He was born so. Was Muhammad so born? Was he? I'm not telling you. Was he born without a father? No. no. So, did you see? This is superior to Muhammad. Muhammad said, born like anybody else. Our Jesus was born without a father. So his father is God. If somebody you must have a father. If you have got an earthly father, you've got a heavenly father. Something dead. He says, you know Jesus. He came back to the dead. What do you say? Yes. Yes. Did Muhammad give back to the dead? He said, well, Jesus gave by God's permission. Said, did Muhammad give life to the death by God's permission? Did he? He said, not that I know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know the hadith so well. Where is your prophet Muhammad now? He says, 